This video explains how to list the files in a directory using the dir function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first example of this tutorial, I will show you how to get a list of all the files in the currently used working directory. For this, we first need to extract the currently used working directory using the getwd function, as you can see in line two of the code. So in this line of code, I'm assigning the path of the current working directory to a new data object that I'm calling path cwd. So if you run this line of code, you can see this path appearing at the top right. And we can also print this path to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that the path of our current working directory is leading to a directory on the desktop of my computer, which is called current directory. We can also have a look at this directory by opening the directory. So as you can see in this directory, we have stored three different files that are called more files, some files, and you get the point. So let's assume that we want to extract a list of all these file names. Then we can go back to our studio and apply the dir function to this data object that we have just created, as you can see in line five of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that a new vector is returned, which contains character strings that are showing the names of our files with file extensions. So in this first example, I have explained how to return a list of all the files in our current working directory. However, we can also use this syntax to create a list of all the files in a different directory, as I will show you in the next example, starting in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm first setting a path to another directory that I have already created on my desktop. So we can open this directory as well. And then you can see that this other directory also contains two different files, which are called the next file and one more file. So if you want to return a list that contains those two file names, we can use the dir function once again, as you can see in line nine of the code. And this time I'm applying this function to this path that we have specified manually in the previous step. So if you run lines seven and nine of the code, you can see that another vector object is returned, which is containing the two file names in our directory, which is called another directory. Now, as you can see, the dir function always returns all the files in a directory. However, we can also only return files with a certain pattern in the name of this file. And in the next example, I want to show you how to return only files with the file extension .xlsx. So as you can see in line 11 of the code, I'm using the pattern argument and I'm setting this pattern argument to be equal to the character string .xlsx. And by doing this, we are returning only those files that contain this character string. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom that another output is returned and this output contains only the xlsx files in our current working directory. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.